chapter about what's going to happen there and we'll let you know how to find out some more about it. So a few years ago I first attended the Woodstock Fruit Festival in New York. That was in 2012 was the first year I went. And one of the people I was really excited to see was a speaker called Tony Wright. Tony originates from the UK but he has a kind of reputation around the world now and speaks at events around the world. For example Woodstock. And he's got research and information, a book called Left in the Dark, which has now been republished as Return to the Brain of Eden. And he has some amazing research and conclusions that basically go towards this idea that the human brain, the most complex neural system in the known universe, evolved in a specific environment and the fuel that fueled that growth of that the incredible brain was tropical fruit and that the environment would have been a non-seasonal tropical type forest in Africa and he has a lot of evidence and research and stuff to show that that's the case. Now the next part of his theory is that moving away from that environment has led to brain damage, uh, especially a damaged left hemisphere if you've heard of the, the different theories about the two different sides of the brain, the two different hemispheres. And the damaged side, which is, in his opinion, is the left-hand side, has become the perceptually dominant side. So we see our world through a damaged left hemisphere. And he has evidence and, and research to show all this stuff. He's got a lot of... Uh, You know, it's just it just changed me so dramatically, and I've always enjoyed going back to see him talk, having conversations with him, finding out more about what he's doing, and he's just an interesting guy. He's, he's done a lot of interesting research. He has been on a hundred percent raw food diet for, I believe, quite a long time, and and that's part of his research into trying to get back to a more functional brain state and. He has the world record for sleep deprivation, although it's not officially recognised, but I'm not sure if it was 11 days or perhaps more, that he went without sleep. And he talks about that in his presentation, and it's some amazing stories about how, for example, he's right-handed, but his left hand became more dexterous as he progressed through sleep deprivation. The idea being that as you become more sleep de deprived, eventually the left hemisphere loses its dominance and the right hemisphere gains sort of more control. And it's just, it's really fascinating stuff. He's been in touch with a lot of the famous kind of researchers around the world and on brain research and hemisphere research and stuff like that. So he talks about all these discussions that he's had with all these people. But it's just... Uh, it's a really fascinating, mind-bending, mind-blowing <laughs> uh, event, you know, information. He's got two presentations that he gives. The first is a, an investigation into the evolution of the human brain, and he'll talk about all the research and stuff leading up to, leading up to his theory and leading up to the idea that the brain, this incredibly complex neural system, was formed on the complex biochemistry that was really only available in one place uh, in one part of the world in the non-seasonal tropical forests in the tropical fruits that existed there so the implications of all that are fascinating the second presentation is a journey to the edge of the human mind where he just goes further into how this move away from that tropical fruit diet and everything has led to a collective sort of delusion among society but it's amazing some of the stuff he brings up like uh, information and some of the
things have been trying have been used to try and regain some of the function that we used to once have naturally. So that's that's the amazing thing as well. The idea that we used to we used to have access to maybe more skills or more latent potential that that we've lost because of the the left hemisphere becoming more damaged and becoming more dominant. So this stuff it might sound like maybe for some people it might go over your head a bit or anything like that, but it's I think it's of interest to a lot of people and we're doing an event in Glasgow and Tony is going to come up to speak and deliver his two presentations. It's taking place on the 28th of February which is a Saturday from 1pm to 5pm and it takes place in the Southwest Community Cycles building and that's uh, a building that is on the platform of the Pollock Shaw's West train station. So that's one train station stop from Central Station. So it's very easy to get to, or you, you can get a bus there, obviously you can drive there. It's just at the entrance of Pollock Shaw's Park at the Borough Collection kind of area. It's just it's right near there, the Pollock Shaw's West uh, train station. So there's a building in there, we've rented out the space above there. It's a friend of mine is manager of that place, so rented out a place in there. And we've got space for 30 people, so it's quite a limited, uh, small, kind of cosy environment. And it's maybe a rare opportunity to get to see Tony talk here in, in Scotland or in Glasgow. He's not been up here for a long time. He's not. I don't know if he's even speaking spoke here before, and he's not spoken in the UK for a while. And he's often in demand uh, to go and speak in America and other places. So this is a great opportunity to see some of his work. Uh, I totally guarantee this is going to be really fascinating for you, a really interesting event, and uh, we're offering a. You, you, there's a full refund as well if you didn't if you don't enjoy it or if you <laughs> you know because I'm very sure that you're gonna really like this so there I'm gonna put a link down below and you can go and find out more information uh, I would advise if you would like to go to reserve your place now and there's you know there's not that many seats and um, there's a lot of interest in Tony's work and in this kind of thing, so meeting blueberries. So hoping to make a great event. If you have any questions, you can uh, let me know down below or get in touch. And go over to the page. The page has got a bit more detailed information and information on how to buy and how to reserve uh, to reserve your place. Um, so that's about it. And if you want, if you need any information on coming up to Glasgow, if you're thinking of coming up to see the uh, to see Tony, then also get in touch. I'll I'll try and help as much as I can. I'm trying to think of anything else. Yeah, it's, it's what I was gonna say. Um, fantastic presentations, completely original, completely new stuff. We've never heard any of this stuff or seen this before. No one else is really speaking about this kind of thing. And it's just revolutionary work. So get a chance to come and see him, come and meet him. He'll be selling and possibly probably signing copies of his book as well. Uh, so you can get that. Um, I'd really, really strongly urge you to come and visit the link below. And I hope to see you there. Comment below, ask any other questions, share this video with anyone else you know that might like to come. And thank